What exactly is the Black Flash? And, frighteningly enough, is he more real than we all understand? Flash. The Black Flash is one of the newest speedsters revealed in CW's TV universe. Originally debuting on The Flash as Zoom, the villain fell victim to what are called Time Rays. These odd, Dementor-like beings took Zoom and made him into the sinister Black Flash. The true origin of the Black Flash is fantastical, indeed, but does it have any real-life foundation? The answer might worry you. To find out if a being like the Black Flash is possible in real life, we first have to go over all of his physical features and attributes. The Black Flash is a demonic, zombie-like speedster, who apparently goes around killing other speedsters. In real life, speedsters are pretty far-fetched, but they could theoretically work. You can click here for that full video. But if you don't want to watch it right now, I'll just give a quick breakdown of it. Basically, a speedster in the real world could work off of their own body like a battery, with the body constantly producing more energy, faster and more efficiently than the rate of a normal human. This would, in theory, allow the body to carry out processes, like movement and perception, much faster than the common individual. This could even lead to extra abilities, like accelerated healing. But if the Black Flash were a speedster in real life, then why is his body so torn up? The Black Flash's appearance would actually likely be attributed to a side effect of super speed that I mentioned in that Flash video. While using super speed would be pretty awesome, it could have harmful effects on the human body, mostly entailing wear and tear if the individual wasn't cautious about how they use their super fast movement. The particles in the air could begin to shred a human body apart if it were to be going too fast against them. This, in real life, would likely be what happened to make the Black Flash look so gruesome. Even then, why does he act the way he does? Zoom, his personality before his transformation into the Black Flash, was a developed human with a mind just like you and I. The Black Flash, on the other hand, is almost animalistic in nature. He even smells around to find the Reverse Flash, not unlike a predator would when trying to locate its prey. Ultimately, this is where things get kinda scary. I theorize that the Black Flash is actually victim to a virus, one that might not be too far off from reality. There is a parasitic fungus found in the animal kingdom called Ophiocordyceps. Oph Ophiocordyceps. Jeez, hope I didn't butcher that. However, the world prefers to call it the zombie ant virus. This fungus will actually find a suitable host, mostly in army ants, to infiltrate. Once in the brain of the host, the fungus releases a mind-controlling chemical that allows it to use the ant's brain to puppeteer the ant's body. It does this in order to carry on the fungus species, and the condition often results in the ants actually committing suicide, kind of because the fungus tells them to. Yeah, this, this is a real thing. Is it possible that through exposure to the open environment due to his injuries, the Black Flask was somehow infected with some variation of the zombie ant virus? Well. Take a look for yourself. The Black Flash looks and acts like a real zombie. And we're talking like Walking Dead style zombies. He has so many open wounds, so many areas that expose the inner workings of his body, and yet he never bleeds. He doesn't have any flowing blood. He is no longer capable of sounds aside from shrieking and growling. And as far as I can tell, he probably doesn't rely on eyesight. This, at the very least, points to the idea that something foreign is controlling the Black Flash. The Black Flash, as we see him, would actually be dead. His body is being kept somewhat active by some kind of outside force or virus. Unfortunately for us, while the zombie ant virus is sort of a long ways away from being the culprit, there is another parasite that could almost easily explain the Black Flash's condition. Toxoplasma is a virus that is actually found in about half the world's population. That's really scary, and here's why. The Toxoplasma virus is a parasite found in domestic cat feces, and what it does to the human body is terrifying. It can really do a number on the brain, destroying essential parts of it like the neurons, if it were to be active in the body. In fact, the most common result of taxoplasma infection is schizophrenia, a mental condition where the patient will often hear voices or imagine individuals who, quite simply, are not there. While you could say the Black Flash probably has schizophrenia, I mean, look at him, it's also possible that whatever virus he has acts a lot like, and could even be, taxoplasma. 
If Taxoplasma were to reduce his brain enough, could it reduce him to being brain dead? The answer theoretically is yes. Whatever virus the Black Flash has, it could even be an evolved form of either Taxoplasma or the zombie ant virus. The Taxoplasma could have evolved to the point where it not only torments and kills the brain, it takes it over. The same goes for a possibly evolved zombie ant virus, where the fungus is successfully spread to human bodies and can survive in them. Ultimately, however, there is one glaring question. Why does the Black Flash consistently go after only speedsters? Why would he need to? Well, if the virus is an evolved form of the two we mentioned, it's possible that speedsters are actually the cause for its evolution. Due to the high amounts of energy being produced in a speedster's body, the virus, once it won the battle with the body, would have a lot more to work with, and would evolve past the point of being able to survive in a slow-paced, normal human body. In layman's terms, the virus evolved to only survive in a speedster's body. And that's why it goes after other speedsters. It is attracted to the high biological energy of other speedsters because it needs that to thrive and to carry on the species. That would explain why the Black Flash can't sense anything unless it moves. There's a certain speed point that will attract the virus's attention. Like I mentioned, it looks like the Black Flash might not be able to see, and that could very well be the case because he wouldn't need to. He'd just be the puppet for a viral species. This could even have the terrifying implication of the spread of the virus. There could be the possibility of multiple black flashes, so long as the person infected was a speedster. I told you this is some Walking Dead type stuff. One more question, however, is the color of the Black Flash's suit. The suit actually changed colors upon becoming the eternal home of the Black Flash, and that seems pretty magical, right? Oh, don't worry. This also has frightening possibilities linked to it. Yay. There are some viral patterns, sort of like the physical appearance of a virus, that only reflect certain colors. It's possible that whatever evolved virus has infected the Black Flash acted like this upon coming into contact with the suit, discoloring it in several areas. But if this is the case, that means that the virus is all over his suit and his body. Even touching the Black Flash could result in infection, making whoever touched him another Black Speedster. All in all, what I would say to take away from this is awareness. There's a lot of dangerous illnesses out there, so it's good to stay clean, stay healthy, and practice precautions for preventing illnesses. I'm sure you've been told you don't want to end up like this guy, but now I'm telling you, you don't want to end up like this guy. There's no one home up there in the Black Flash's head. What's scarier is what is home up there. My old Flash video is called Could You Become the Flash? But the scary thing is, the question that comes after that might just be, could we become the Black Flash.